Hi everybody, today I want to talk about turning tab into sheet music and sheet music into tab. So whichever one you have first, I want to show you how to turn it into the other notation. And this is basically a video about the tab functionality in MuseScore. Uh, if you're not familiar, MuseScore is a free to download music notation software. So if you want to go grab it after the video, I'll put a link in the description. What I mainly use MuseScore for is to write arrangements for marimba. And since most of my arrangements are of pop songs, a lot of the times I start with source material that's written in tab or tablature. If you don't know, tab is a way of writing out music for uh, guitars and other fretted instruments that uses numbers for the frets and lines for the strings. But since I'm used to reading more traditional sheet music notation, sometimes it's hard for me to read tab, so um, sometimes I have to turn it into regular notation, and that's what I want to show you today. Once you open up MuseScore for the first time, you should see a window that looks like this. Uh, you might not see all of these scores here on the page. These are just recent projects I've been working on. But you will see this icon that says New Score. Uh, now let me get out of the way. I'll put myself over here. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. So what you're going to do is click on new score. And in this first column on the left, you're going to go all the way down to strings plucked. Select that. Under instruments, you can select any of the guitars. So electric guitar, acoustic guitar, classical guitar. The important thing here is that you wanna select the tablature guitars uh, because we wanna work with tab today. If you just select the electric guitar, it will bring up a normal staff that has a treble clef in it. And since I wanna show you the tab stuff first, we are going to use electric guitar tablature. Once that's highlighted, go ahead and click on the arrow to bring it into your score. And then we can say next in the bottom. Uh, this is just more info about the score. This will be um, different for every project that you work on. You can do the key signature, time signature, uh, show a tempo at the beginning if you want and fill in all the other stuff like title, composer, subtitle, lyricist, copyright at the bottom if you need it. Uh, for this, let's just do tab example. Uh, once you've filled out all this information, then you can say done. And it pulls up this. Uh, it shows a tab staff. So you see the word tab on the way on the left and let's zoom here a little bit. So one way you can tell that this isn't a normal staff is there are six lines because these represent the strings on the guitar um, and also the tab all the way on the left. So with this, uh, we're gonna start putting in our tab and um, I'll show you just a few quick things about inputting tab. Once you are here, before you put in any notes, I need you to double check the tuning that this uh, song is in, because you want to change that first. If you put in a bunch of notes and then change it later, it's gonna mess everything up. Um, it's not fun to deal with. It's just so much easier to do it first and not worry about it later. What am I talking about tuning? So there are standard guitar tunings. If your song is in standard tuning, you're good to go. You can start writing music right away. But if it's in uh, drop D tuning, dad gad, any other alternate tunings, please change the tuning first before you start writing music. So we need to do that for this example. And to get there, in the first blink measure, you're going to right click, come down to staff slash part properties, select that, 
it shows a lot of information here. What we're worried about is this at the very bottom where it says number of strings, six, and edit string data. We are interested in edit string data. This is where you go to change the string tunings. Uh, so it goes from your uh, highest pitch to your lowest pitch. We have our six strings. This is standard tuning for a guitar. The example that I'm gonna use is in drop D flat. So what I need to do is click on my top string, come over here to edit string, click on that, and bring this down a half step from E4 to E flat four. I'm gonna do that for all of my strings. And for my lowest string, since this is drop D flat tuning, we need to come down a whole step first to D and then an additional half step to D flat or C sharp. Once that looks good, you can say okay. And you can say apply. And say okay. Now you can start putting in music. Every music notation software has some sort of note entry mode or mm, function, note entry function. Um, it's basically where you go from messing around with everything else on the page to actually putting in the notes. Uh, in order to get there in MuseScore, you're going to select the measure that you want to start putting music in. You can come up here to this pencil icon, click on it, that'll activate note entry, or on your keyboard, pushing the letter N. Uh, since the example I'm doing is all eighth notes, I'm going to go up here to my um, note duration bar and select the eighth note. And using the arrow keys on my keyboard, I'm going to navigate to the string that I want. I want that string. And then using the numbers on your keyboard, you can put in which fret needs to be played. Um, and it looks like that. You can use the arrows on your keyboard to go to the next note and keep on inputting your music. If you do get to a spot where the duration of the notes change, just come up here and change it. And then when you put in your next note, it'll change it from eighth notes to a quarter note. Uh, to put in a rest, uh, come down here and just right click with your mouse uh, where you want that rest to be. And it'll input that eighth rest for you. And you can keep on going. So here's our whole example. Let me make this a little bit easier to read. There. So now it's all just on the first line. So this is what we got. The intro to Nirvana's Heart Shaped Box. Um, sounds a little funky because it's a clean guitar, but this is the tab that we're working with. And if this is where you start with your arrangement, but you want to get it into uh, traditional music notation, this is what you have to do. Come over to your Instruments uh, tab and you'll see electric guitar. That's what we've been looking at this whole time. Click on that drop down arrow and it'll show you that it has a tablature uh, staff. 
And what you want to do is click on this gear icon and then say create a linked staff. Now it tells you that linked staffs contain identical information. Don't worry about that. We're going to switch it from tab to uh, normal notation. But this is what you want to select is create a linked staff. So now you have two copies of the same exact thing. But this is where the cool part comes in. Over here, you have your linked tablature staff. Select that gear icon. Change the staff to standard. And now you have your standard notation. The best part about this is you didn't have to write it out again. This is why I wanted to show you how to use the linked staves instead of just adding another staff and having to rewrite it by yourself. Because you could do that too. Uh, under this same menu, you can say add staff, but it won't be a linked staff. It'll just be an empty staff that you'll have to write out these notes again and um, you might make a mistake and uh, you know you might write it a little bit differently than what you did for the tab but using the linked staff uh, you don't have to do any of that it does it for you so that is how to get from tab to standard notation uh, in MuseScore so let's do it the other way what if you start with the standard notation first but then you want to see it in tab. Back at the main screen in MuseScore, select new score. Um, since you don't know what instruments are gonna be playing, let's just pick piano uh, from keyboards all the way on the left and then piano under instruments. Select the arrow to add it to your score. Say next. We'll use the same example as before. Uh, it's in B, 4-4. Four, four. Update the tempo, and we'll call this sheet music example. So now this just brings up a normal grand staff for piano, and you can enter uh, notes the same way um, by going into the note entry tool and then selecting the duration of your notes and then clicking in the staff where the notes go. Let me do that real quick. So now we should have the same music that we had before, just in a piano version. All right. So now if you have all of this and you want to convert to tab, let me show you how to do that. And this is gonna be a little bit different than before this is just how MuseScore works. So from here, um, push I on your keyboard, and this will bring up the Add or Remove Instruments. You can also go to the Instruments panel and click Add. And we're going to go back to our Strings Plucked Instruments. Um, I'll use Electric Guitar Tab, just like I did before bring it over into our score that already has the piano in it. And now we have the piano and the electric guitar. Like I said before, double check the tunings in the tab before you add music. So right click into a measure, select the staff part properties. 
We're going to go down to the bottom again where it says number of strings and edit string data. And this is in standard tuning again, so we need to change it to our alternate tuning that we've been using. Now, select our music, copy, paste. Now since guitar uh, sounds an octave lower, we're going to have to transpose this down an octave, which is really easy. Go up to Tools, select Transpose, select by Interval, down, an octave, say OK. And now we should have the same tab that we had before. Uh, the only difference between uh, this example and the first example is that these two staffs aren't linked. So if I change a note up here, it's not going to change the information down here. So that's the only difference. They're not linked. But if you start in tab and then add a standard notation, that's an easy way to make them uh, linked. That is how you go from tab to standard notation and then from standard notation to tab. I hope this helps you out a lot. Um, it's really been one of my favorite things about MuseScore lately. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. As I said at the beginning, there will be a link in the description if you want to uh, go and download MuseScore for yourself. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you next time.